it's only going to continue to advance and evolve. And uh, you know, it's uh, I guess we would rather have people following us, talking about us, and, and covering what we do than nobody. Dave, the first time that we met face to face, we spent a couple hours together. After that, we had subsequent uh, phone conversations that uh, you know last for extended periods of times. And then um, you know I, I wanted to to go to Philadelphia and uh, just confirm what was in my heart and my belief on this decision. And um, you know we spent a good half a day plus together. Then. So you know it, it's a very con it's very. We're making important decisions in a very condensed time period, and it was important to take as long as I felt we needed. Uh, we, we met at a, a, a different location. We didn't meet at a hotel. <laughs> we met at a hotel in Florida. Can you talk about the assistance that you got from Paul Demare and Sorry, how much of a help they were in the whole process? Well, you know, it's, it's so important to have people that you trust and, and you believe in, and, and there's no greater leader that I can have as a board of trustee member than Paul Demare. Paul has been involved in uh, college sports his whole life. He has five sons. One played baseball here. One played football at Florida State. Paul understands big time athletics and what it takes to be successful. And uh, you know, provided a steady hand through this process. And nobody knows football better than, than, than Bernie Kosar. And uh, the chance to spend uh, extended periods of time and quality time with Bernie has been enjoyable. And uh, he's a great friend to this program and has only its best interest in his heart. Well, you see what he did at Temple. You know, he took a program that was at the bottom of the college football world and how he built that over time with his classroom. And he was attack attacking that with the same vigor and the same intensity that he was the task at hand on the football field. And, and he's a leader. Uh, he's somebody I've watched for a number of years, and he's done great things and will continue to do great things. Is it putting undue pressure on any new coach that they have to start talking about national championships on day one? And it's, you know, it's uh, it's the expectation at the University of Miami. It always has been since 1983, uh, and it always will be. And those of us that have the privilege to join this program uh, understand that. We embrace them and expect that of ourselves. Kirby, you, have you know to. his resume, you know what he's accomplished, but when you meet him and you're him in person, what was the thing that jumped out at you? He's a great communicator, and uh, he's got a plan, he's got a vision, and he can communicate that. And he's he has a drive for excellence, and he's hungry, and he wants to be at the University of Miami. He's got one of the greatest programs in all of college sports that uh, he's leading now, and uh, his plan to achieve greatness is what attracted me to him. Kirby, your thoughts on the whole search and, and the entire process and culminating in this day, what was that like for you? Well, you know, it's, it's been a uh, thorough process, process. It's been, uh, you know, when you have the level of attention, the scrutiny that you have when you go through something like this, you really can't describe it until you go through it talking to athletic directors around the country. You know, somebody told me one time, being a parent is the greatest thing you'll ever experience, but I can't tell you how great it is until you experience it. When I had my first son, I understood what that meant. When I had athletic directors tell me about this type of process, you don't fully understand it until you go through it. But, you know, I was prepared. I had done my homework, my research. I prepared my entire career for this. And, you know, you stay focused on uh, what you're trying to achieve and keep moving towards that and try to limit the outside influence of what you're trying to accomplish. Going forward, the excitement level, is it at a new high for you in this program? Well, you know, it's an interesting time because we are concluding one football season and we've got an important game <laughs> in two weeks against uh, one of our most known rivals in the country. It's the beginning of a new uh, rival tradition with Notre Dame. We haven't played them in a long time. You know, so we're, we're coming to the close of the season. We've got such an important game uh, in the future. And at the same time, we've got the sense of a new beginning. Uh, so, you, you know, it's, uh, it's an interesting time. It's a fun time. And uh, the, the coming months are going to be fun. Thank you, Kirby. My name is Josh Kent. Congratulations. Good to introduce you to Christy. Christy, I'm actually um, feeling a little bit like in my Nordic. Hello.